What is up Flutter devs? Today we're going to quickly implement the default background color for all processing sketches as we continue to port processing to Flutter. Let's go take a look at what I mean. Notice here that in this, uh, this is the specification for drawing a circle, but notice that all of the area around the circle is this light gray color. Similarly, if we come back to the specification and we open up the line specification, once again, it's filled with this light gray. In the absence of any reference to background or fill or draw or anything, we get this gray color. Currently, that's not the case. Let's go ahead and make this happen. Shouldn't take much work at all and should be very easy for us to test. Back here in the code, let's go to the core implementation. In the core implementation, we have our setup call and we have our draw call. Anything we do in draw should cover that gray color as far as I can think. Actually, let's, let's test that. Here's processing. Here's a setup and draw function. Uh, notice that if I essentially do nothing, let me comment everything out. I'll run this we get the gray box that we expect. What happens if I draw a circle on top? Okay, notice that the circle, like it never gets cleared. That light gray color, the light gray is drawn one time and then other stuff keeps happening aside from that gray color. What this tells me is that the default background color should only be drawn in setup and it should obviously be drawn before anything else in setup is done because anything else that you draw in setup should be on top of that background color. Therefore, what we can do is, well, one option at least, we can think it through, is we can come into setup and essentially right here, we can draw a light gray background. The only concern that I have there is that if sketch is subclassed, then that behavior is going to disappear. That behavior would work just fine uh, for the case where we are using a callback. But if you subclass and you don't call through to the super method, you're going to lose that behavior. And that seems unnecessarily tedious. What if, what if we do this? What if we create a private method do setup where we draw the gray background color and then we call the regular setup? And then what if we come down here to our sketch painter and instead of invoking setup, we invoke do setup? Well, because our sketch painter is in the same file as our definition of a sketch, we can call a private method. And that private method allows us to enforce certain additional logic every time that setup is run. In this case, to draw that default background color, which would look like this. We will say, uh, let's see. In fact, I think we can just reuse background for this case. We'll say background color. And I did a check and I think the color that's being used is C5. That's the gray that's being used. This should now fill the background in setup every single time, no matter what. Of course, any time that you call background after this, you can completely replace the background with a different color. But if you don't call background or if you don't draw over the entirety of the screen, you're going to get this light gray. As with anything that we implement, we now want to go test that capability. Let's come back to our core test. And in a, in a video, either the next video or maybe the one after that, we are going to start breaking up our tests into more appropriate files but we're still in kind of the core logic of processing. So we'll just go ahead and continue with this group and I'll copy this existing test. 
And for the name of this test, setup paints light gray background by default. We should see that even if we don't do anything, even if we even if we don't pass a setup function, it should happen. Let me also rename the file down here. Setup paints default background. Let's save that. Now we can't compare to anything yet because this test has never been run. There is no golden file for this test. Let's generate the first golden. We'll say flutter test. This time I'm just going to run this one test. Setup paints light gray. I think that's enough to match against it. And we are going to update goldens. And I will specify that file in particular to run that. Okay, let's go look at what we generated. There it is. There's the light gray. So it seems like that default background is working just fine. Now let's run all the tests. We're not going to regenerate goldens. We're just going to actually run all the tests because now that we've added this default behavior, we want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the other background behavior that we already implemented. And all tests continue to pass. As far as we can tell, this behavior is exactly what we want. And that's really all this feature took. We and But notice that the steps that we went through here. Up to this point, we actually had some APIs working pretty well. And it wasn't, I mean, it looked like those APIs might work exactly how we wrote them for a while. But already, just by taking kind of the next piece of functionality, we ran into an issue that wasn't really covered, which was this idea that we need to impose a certain behavior regardless of what the subclass does in the setup function. We need to kind of intercept that moment in time and force a certain behavior. Therefore, we introduce this do setup. We were able to keep the names of these other two functions the same, so we don't force people to go refactor a bunch of their code for no reason. And we have a private method so that nobody else needs to be aware of what we just did. But just like that, we now have the default gray being painted as desired. Again, just trying to match what you would get in the real or traditional processing implementation. In the next video, I think we'll probably go on to draw some kind of shape. Okay.